Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. I've got this silly little thing around my neck. In this video, I'm gonna put you on my neck so my hands are free and I'm gonna show you video eight, well actually this is digital eight, tapes. And why, if you have got your videotapes stuck in garages, attics, storage units, just dusty, dirty, you need to stop what you're doing and run. Don't walk to get all of your memories out of those less than ideal storage units and garages and everything because they're old and they're gonna have problems. If you haven't played these tapes, I ask people, when was the last time you played your videotapes? And they're like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Never? What's the oldest tape? Ah, uh, whoo. It's like 20 years ago, so 2003. Ah, uh, no, uh, 1987, uh, yeah, the time is flying. So it's way more than 20 years, 30, 40 years or more. So this video, I'm gonna show you typically what I get in and why all of these transfer companies that you see online advertising cheap prices like these companies right here they're slapping stickers on videotapes telling you that your stuff can no longer be transferred due to environmental issues heat cold da, da 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 these stickers here that you get on legacy box you send off all your stuff and they put these stickers on him you can't even read the damn stickers but basically it's telling you we're keeping your money your tape is crap we can't pull a picture off it which is a load of crap anyway i've got videos on that covering everything but i'm going to show you here why um, this particular job here, let's have a look. So I've just put everything in. Now, I'm going to show you something here. Where is my... Okay, this is alcohol, isopropyl. This is what I need to ingest myself after dealing with all these tapes. Now, the first problem here, I just picked that one up. Look at this. That shouldn't do that, okay? But the first thing I did when I opened this box, I'm looking at the tapes... And they've got, um, where were they? Just like dust. Look, wear and tear. Like in the corner here, these little telltale signs. And also I can feel it on my hands. Look, you see that there? That's, that's been rubbing. That's, watch this. I've got this. I'm going to give this a wipe. Okay. Clean all these tapes off. If you've got tapes and you've left them in dusty conditions, get lint-free cloths and alcohol and clean them off. This is what I do with every single videotape. You know why I do it with every single videotape? Because all about, yeah, look, you can see right here, dust, right there. Look, if I run my finger, boom. Oh no, that's not, that is dust, partial dust and scraping. But yeah, look, that's dust right there. Dirty, filthy. Okay, you need to clean them off. If you own a transfer company, you need to be doing this because you know why? This preserves your equipment because you put in all this dusty crap in um, players and these players are in short supply. They're not in short supply for crap, but actual working parts. Um, you're going to need some of this as well um, and just give it a... Give it a quick blowjob. That's what she said. Actually, I do have a that's what she said button. Where is it? Ah, oh, there's one. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Let's start that scene again. Okay. So you're going to give it a quick blowjob. That's what she said. All right. So it's not quite Steve Carell, but next. Anyway, so um, there we go. Give that a clean. Because when you put these tapes in the players, all these little bits of grime and dust and dirt, you want to be doing everything you can to eliminate that stuff so it doesn't get, it doesn't wear out like sandpaper, all of the video heads, all of this stuff. Uh, maybe this wasn't needed when you first had your tapes, but for the people, now that all the decades are rolling on and on and on, and these companies are, aren't getting pictures and audio, everything's going to bits. This all needs to be done. This is why I charge a setup fee, because I go, look at this. See that there? It's typical. And I can tell, and these tapes aren't that old. They're like two, these are 2000, I think I saw 2004. They're digital eight, which is so, which you must do this with digital eight, because the digital eight players, look, look at that in there. 
So if I get my finger in there and look, yeah, look, filth, dust. I don't even want to do this job <laughs> because it's just, it's, it's, it's your, basically it causes more problems than it's worth time-wise. And also with my digital eight players, they're so finicky and so rare and, and it just grinds everything. And then, and then also digital eight is an absolute nightmare as well. Um, because what am I doing here? I'm losing my mind. Um, no, that's the wrong bottle. <sighs> so you can see where your mind goes crazy dealing with all this old media. And look, look at this. I mean, just stored, not cared for. I'm going to do this on a clean bit right here. Watch this, this wipe I do. Where are we? All right. So fresh cloth. Okay. Watch this. I'm going to just go. You're not going to be able to, I don't know if you'll be able to tell on that, but yeah, it's got a browned hue to it. Um, all in here, all, all this gunk just collects inside of the players. And I've had, you know, I get people all the time go, how much do you charge? Oh, no. Uh, you know, this company has got 60% off and they're only charging 12 bucks a videotape. And then you look at, go look at the reviews and then people aren't getting, they're not getting picture, but, 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 but my tapes are amazing. I've taken really good care of them and they're just going to play absolutely fine. No, because they're not cleaning, they're not checking tapes, they're not transferring. So all of your stuff might be pristine, but the customer whose jobs went in, tapes went in before yours in the player were all, I mean, this isn't bad. It's bad, but it's not great. But um, all of your stuff goes in, it's like taking a bath in dirty bath water. You're like, yeah, run the bath. And then there's like, you know, a ton of people. What am I doing? I'm losing my mind. It's 4.20. I've been in here for eight hours today. Just dealing with all this stuff. And then look, look at all these little bits and pieces here, right? These are all bits and pieces that go inside of the player. And it just it just contributes to the fast deterioration of the players. Um, so, you know, when I ask people where have they been stored? Yeah, look at this. See that there? Dust. That's supposed to be black all the way across, but it isn't. Like these have been left out in the elements for the last 20 years. Um, and when they come to digital eight, I don't even know. I'm going to put one in. I don't even want to do this job, to be honest, because it just, I've got tons of digital eight to do. And you spread this job, this these crappy tapes throughout all those players. And it just gunks the head up and I'm stopping and starting and, pixelating and the picture drops out i mean look at this you can see that one there like guys these are filthy i mean the customers in california along the coast so that tells me if these were from you know the south or humid conditions it would be a different story these things would be completely screwed i mean i ask questions when people are saying about their tapes where have they been stored? Okay, and then I look at their area code and I go, right, okay, you're in Louisiana. I mean, look at that. If I do that, bet it doesn't even, uh, it's all just, look, that's supposed to just flip down. Look, I'm pulling on that and that's screwed. <laughs> look, it doesn't even shut properly. So when I put that in a player, potentially it's going to get stuck in there. And if it gets stuck in there, I've got to unscrew all the side pieces. That's going over there. I can tell also just by the coloration or discoloration of the white here that it's been exposed to moisture. So fun times. Um, and this is why all these companies aren't even bothering to transfer tapes. <laughs> I mean, there's two sides of it. A, it's a scam. But B, they're kind of matching the level of 
fucks to give, pardon my French, by the level of fucks that people have given with their videotapes. And they're like, you know what? If you haven't given a fuck about these tapes in how many years, why should we give a fuck about transferring them and pulling our hair out? I don't know. I don't have that attitude. Uh, but you can see why a lot of these companies are like, nah, you, cr you can cry about it. Well, you didn't care. So why should we care? Um, and yeah. Um, but this is necessary. Um, I did put a couple into, and then you've got to rewind them. Hopefully they rewind. You check in that. This tape right here that I just had that wouldn't go, that one was fine. This, if you send this off to Legacy Box or South Tree Kodak Digitizing, they're all the same company. They're not going to transfer this. They're like, oh, broken mechanism, even though I can see right there where the issue is, and it's got gunk at the top. Sometimes it comes off the little bit in there. I mean, this is all basic stuff. What you do in this case is you just tear the top off. And, and you know, that's a protective area, but these are going to be transferred one and done. But I want to pull that one aside. Now, um, these are rewound. These are my rewinders. There was one that was rewinding, and you could you can hear it. Listen to this. Turn your volume up all the way, people. And this is from 2000, you know, 2000s. <sighs> um, look at this one. Look, this is stuck in here now. Oh, it came out. But look, I mean, look at the state of that. Give that another clean. But a lot of this is not only dust, but it's also just scratched because it's been, you know, just moved in a box. Um, and I mean, yeah, humid. Okay, so this is all in Spanish. So my, you know, seeing that it was in California, but there's all the discoloration here, this kind of tells me that this has been down in Mexico possibly at a family's house and I do get work from Mexico and it's always a mess. It's just, you know, dusty and not been stored very well at all, which it explains some of the issues here. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's, this is all just a mess. Anyway, oh, and I will tell you something else here. Here's another job I just got in. So this came in. <laughs> if you are shipping stuff to me, uh, this is what I always tell people not to do. You put all your stuff in a Ziploc bag. It's nice and neat and tidy, like this over here. Where is it? Um, I just had it. I just had it. Oh, my God. Here we go. So... This, this is how you pack and ship your stuff. You know, it's pretty bomb proof as it is, but then put it, you know, uh, bubble wrap around it and then cushion the box and yeah, you're good to go. Don't ever do this. When I open boxes like this, every single tape is like this. A, it's a waste of plastic and crap. But look, I've got to undo every single videotape. And sometimes there'll be, a, you know, a hundred videotapes and they're all like this. And it takes me an hour to undo everything and the irony being is if i undo it oh look there's bubble wrap within bubble wrap and then the tapes <laughs> are like filthy and they haven't been stored correctly so it's like oh now you want to protect them i can tell also by this that this has been stored in either one or two things um in heat because the plastic is got discolored um it goes like a frosty color or yellow color and or this is from a house of a smoker I get tapes in where they've been in a smoky house and it's just caked in yellow um, and it is gross. And that kind of tells me possibly this has been in a smoker's house. Um, but every single one I've got to, I've got to undo like this. And then we've got all this plastic. 
That's another thing with all these ship box companies. Such a waste of packing materials. They send a box within a box, plastic, and then when they ship everything back, they put it in a new box. And I tell people, they look, oh, do you send a box? No, because you've got 15 Amazon boxes in your garage that you can reuse if they're not falling apart. But yeah, it's all wrapped. It's all, yeah, Easter 2000, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna be spending a bit of time on that one, we'll move that aside. Anyway, back to this. Oh, okay, where is one that was rewound that is somewhat okay? See, this is what I have to do. Say a little prayer and put this, oh, sh I just knocked out. <laughs> All right, this is a digital eight player, okay, camera. Had a new head in June of 23. Cost no less than $350, parts and labor to put a new uh, head in there. So watch this, I can put a tape in and then it goes to crap. And you're like, dude, now I've got to spend 350 bucks. Oh, that's why I have $350 minimum orders. Um, it's not even pulling. Oh, yeah. So it's playing. So I build into my cost, all of my repair costs and maintenance costs as well. Cause I'm just sometimes disgusted at the state of what people's memories are in. Um, and, um, you know, it's not my fault that people didn't care for their stuff. Um, but that is becoming more and more of the norm. And as I say, say to people, they're like, oh, you know, blah, blah. I'm like, well, okay, the reason why you choose me is because I care more about your memories than you care about your memories. Um, and I have to undo all of the neglect, the decades and decades of neglect that, um, you know, and that's why a lot of these shitbox companies, and that's what I call them shitbox, because they are. Um, and that's why they don't, ah, oh, see, look, this one. That shouldn't be like that. Um, but I'm going to put it in one of my rewinders. I use old cameras as rewinders. Um, this one's broken. Look. This... Oh, for fuck's sake. I mean, look. Look at the state of that. Dust. Just filthy. Yeah, anyway, lack of commentary there. That's not essential. Now, if you sent it off to one of these shitbox companies and it's got that bit missing, they don't even transfer it. They slap a sticker on it. Even though it plays fine, you just gotta be a bit careful. You gotta wind it on to make sure that the tension is there, like that, nice and straight. Then you put it in to rewind very carefully. And then you hit rewind. And then hopefully it doesn't beep and go to crap so yeah and then even with this clean rewound oh god that doesn't mean anything is your is the fight over no because you're going to make sure this stuff transfers clear with digital eight i'll put it in for 10 minutes and then all of a sudden it's blue screen and i scrub back to the last few frames and it's pixelated meaning the video head's been clogged and then it's gotta be uh you know carefully carefully watched I mean, this is just gunked. Again, this isn't me going, oh, I just want to make sure everything's pretty. No, this is me. This is called self-preservation. And I've been doing this for over 20 years. I know this game inside out and what needs to be done. Um, and why, you know, and if you would like to get a quote, gotmemories.com. If you are shopping around for the cheapest prices, well, guess what? There's lots of cheap options. But if you're looking around for quality, where there are, you're actually going to get a picture, <laughs> then uh, not many of us around and also impeccable customer service and passionate about what one does. Uh, don't really know anybody. Um, Google reviews are the benchmark uh, of, of any good company. Uh, that takes pride in their work. They encourage their customers to leave reviews, although one in 
a billion people ever bothered to leave a review. Um, but uh, even though they're like, oh, I love your reviews. That's where I came to you. Look at this here. Look, this is shrunk. And oh, look who it is. It's Mr. Sydney. Anyway, um, this is all um, warped and bent. So heat again, heat. Look at that. It's not even level. So you'll be really careful with that one. Anyway, that's me. It's enough of my bitching and moaning. Um, and uh, anyway, if you need to get one of these things, they're pretty handy from Amazon, like 25 bucks. Anyway, all the best to you. Gotmemories.com if you want to get a quote. If you're looking for cheap bargain based in pricing, do not waste your time or mine. I'm really busy and I deal with all this problem stuff and you really need to just Google you know, reviews, YouTube, uh, make your own mind up from there. Like go do your homework and then circle back around if you'd like to get a quote. Um, all right, all the best to you, cheers.